Hey guys, it's Jen, and so let's continue our rock tutorial that we're doing. Just a minute. Alexa, turn it down. Okay, so I um, got a rock and we cleaned it off, and I painted the top a little bit over a half with a uh, white paint, let it dry. I put a second coat on there because um, the white paint just wasn't thick enough. Also, I did the same thing with this turquoise. So this is what we're going to start our rock painting with our um, our little camper with. Now, um, just just a minute, Alexa, off. Oh. Um. So we're going to continue our camper just like this. And um, if you are a person that has a whole bunch of these. Um, paint pens. It might be easier for you to do it <clears throat> with the paint pen. Um, if you don't, then go ahead and keep watching as we're going to do it with just regular paint. But you can do the same thing with the paint pen and just draw the stuff on there if you want. Um, the other thing to note too is if you're going to use a pencil or like a piece of chalk when you're drawing on dried paint, be careful because sometimes it may take the paint off. So be real light and gentle with your touch when you're um, when you're drawing, like with the with the pen or anything like that, because it may just rub the pen off. Now all I'm doing is getting a dot of black on my palette, and I'm going to get a little dot of white. Now my palette here, again, if you're not familiar with me, I take stuff from the mail, like Amazon boxes or cardboard or whatever, and I use them as my palettes. Um, let me show you. This is just a piece of paper. It's a little bit thicker. It's like cardstock that got it in the mail. So instead of throwing it out, I kind of keep them and use them for my palettes. And that way we don't have to buy more things. We can just reuse that. Um, these are some paint pens I have set aside. So another tip is to um, wait till your, pro your project is completely dry to use your um, paint pens because it will, first of all, it, it'll stick onto your paint pens, the paint will, and it won't let you use these paint pens anymore. You'll you'll ruin your paint pens. So, um, I usually have them sitting next to me, but just to take that temptation away, I kind of moved them so I wouldn't be tempted to just use them. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to show you is we're going to just take a dab of black and a dab of white, and I have a little tiny detail brush here. And you can use any kind of brush you want, basically. And, um, you, you know, and this flat brush would be good to use, too. Just use it straight up if you want. Um, or this brush would be good, too. Just twirl the tip when you, when you put it in your paint. So I'm left-handed, so I'm going to start over here. And believe me, I'm shaky, as you can see. You don't need to be perfect on here. You just need to draw a line. And if you want to leave it black, that's up to you. I just like to mix my black and my white, make kind of a gray, just to kind of um, even out that um, that line between them. Okay, that's it. That's all we're going to do for that. Now, what I want to show you, too, is you have to decide where you want your door and your window. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a door, and then we're going to put a window in, but... You know, I probably should have done the door first so I wouldn't have to do a second line, but that's okay. So you kind of want your door to go like so, like a big U, and you want it to go from the turquoise all the way up into the white and kind of down. And the reason is, is because you're going to put a little step here, you know, and then here kind of a little bit more of a dark, but we're going to make a hub for your wheel because you have a little cute camper, right? Okay, there's your hub. So we just did an upside down U and another upside down U, okay? And that's it. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's real whimsical. So you kind of don't want it perfect. And all I'm doing with my paint is I'm dipping it in the black, then the white, and and I have this little brush. So here's the bottom of your camper. So you're just going to kind of not pretty at all. You're just kind of scribbling down here because this is where your camper is, the bottom of it is. You just kind of want it to look like the bottom of a camper. So there we go. And just kind of scribbling that line. And then the tire, if you want to put a tire down, you can put a tire, you know, if you want to do that. And it's not 
just kind of loosely draw U's. So this is a regular shape U right here and then a little U in the middle. And just be mindful of where um, the line is for your hub here. Okay, there's your hub for your wheel. I made that a little bit tall right there, so we're just going to fix it. It's okay. And then we're going to put a little hub cap on here. Okay. And again, it's just a U and fill it in. And if you didn't do it straight, that's okay. And we're going to put a line here and a line here for the tire. You see that? Let me get it up close so you can see your tire. See that? And there's the door. So it's a pretty quick project. So dip your your brush into the black and the white again and we're going to make a window for our camper. So a little bit more black so we can kind of see our window. Okay. And you can do your window however you want to. If you want to put, you know, cute little drapes in there or wet, doesn't matter. I have a really old camper, so mine has a little bit, oops, I'm touching the paint. So, yeah, I will do that. I do touch the paint, and I do make a mess. So, just bear with me a little bit. <laughs> um, the other thing that you can do, okay, so we did the window, right? We did the door. We did the hub. We did the tire already. And now, if you want to do, like, just a quick little line, and again, you can use your paint pens, but all I'm going to do is just do a line right here. And then I'm just going to do little triangles here, or little flags. And you don't need to do anything like I'm doing. You can do your own, you know, flags. One um, person I had in my class that did this same painting on a canvas um, wrote someone's name on there, and you know, letters in there, or whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can put, you know, love or special or whatever you want in there. Okay, so the curtains, um, you could, you know, maybe pretend there's curtains in there by doing that. Making a little upside down Y. And then go back and we'll put some uh, different colors in there. And let's do the door. So the door is, is going to be, um, let me rinse this out. It's going to be just all white. And you can write, you can uh, write anything you want on the door if you want to do, you know, any saying if you if you want to. So I just went to a thicker brush, and I'm just going to go to the white. And um, so I'm going to go over, and this may take a couple coats because um, I didn't mark it off when I first did it, but it's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. So this is just, I mean, it's really an easy project. I mean, it really, really, really is. <laughs> and it's cute. So you can put, I've seen people do very similar paintings, and I'm going to put a couple white streaks along here, maybe a couple around here, and that's about it. Just kind of make it look like it's round. And for the step right here, I mean, you could kind of mix that together, make it look like a step, put a round thing on here for a doorknob, you can even put a, a um, window in there. See that? See, we're already kind of looking like a camper. And if you want to put the hitch in the front, you can. It just depends on how much detail you want to do. Okay, so we got the basic camper done already. So what we're going to do is we're going to start just putting some colors in the window and the flag. And then, and then if you want to write a word in there, that's up to you. Um, if you want to wait till it dries and write something cute on here. Otherwise, you can just leave it just like that. It's really cute. I mean, this is a good project for kids to do because it's so, it's so easy and cute and it's just basic shapes. So the hardest part here is to figure out what colors you want in there. And since I'm thinking probably glamper, I'm going to go get... Let's see, I'm thinking I want a bright pink for that um, banner on there. Because I think that would kind of look cute with my turquoise camper. And then um, maybe a light peach. I have this set aside for that color for the maybe um, light coming through there. And then I'm not sure about what color I want to make those curtains. Um, 
Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I will do a pink. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like with the with the pink and the flag. Okay, I'm trying to get it so where I don't stick my fingers too much in that paint. Let's see here. I hope you guys can see that. And it does not need to be perfect. I'm telling you, just um, get it as good as you can. And if you are um, thinking that you're going to go back and put words in there or letters in there um, with your pen, make sure you let it dry. Or you can go ahead and put a letter, you know, letters in there now with your whatever color you're going to use. I'm just going to make mine solid, though. And then when this is completely dry, we'll write a saying or something on the back. Make sure you put your initials or your sign it. And then um, I'm going to let it sit for a day or two, and then I'm going to seal it. And it should last for a very long time. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't it cute? Okay, there's a little door, a little hub. Okay, now I'm thinking I might just do this. Should I do that pink? Hmm. Maybe I'll do purple. I don't know. I kind of like the... Oops, stuck my finger in the pink. Maybe I'll do pink curtains here to kind of match my banner. You can do pink polka dots if you want. You can put little polka dots on there. And to kind of make it look rustic, um, you can take your, take some more of that gray and kind of rub it around. Let me show you after I'm done with this window. Okay, so the curtains look really cute. Get that a little more solid. You can even put blinds in there if you want. Okay, I'm going to rinse this out. Let's get some of this for the middle part, for the light. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys try this. This is a fun project. Really fast. I mean, you should do this in no time and just kind of experiment with um, different colors. If you want your camper a different color, this just seems to be a popular color for campers. Let's see if you guys can see that rock. It's really, really cute. Little camper. So, um, anyway, and let's make it a little bit more. Let me rinse this brush off. So, what I'm going to do is maybe a little dry brushing. I'm going to take my my flat brush here and I'm just going to mix a little bit of white with a tiny touch of black and I'm just going to mix it back and forth on my um, paper. I didn't need much and then I'm going to offload it which means I'm going to wipe it almost till it's all the paint's almost gone on my towel. And then on the dry parts I'm just going to kind of touch it to make it look like it's older. See that? I'm just putting a couple little shadows and touches in there just to kind of make it look like it's it's old. It's an older camper. Okay. That's it. Okay. See that? Just kind of really lightly go through and just kind of darken it. That's it. We're done. Now if you want to do glitter or anything like that, you can put it on there too. But that's it. Isn't that a cute little camper rock? Hey, wait till it's dry and then seal it and you're done. You're done. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And nice quick project and came out really cute. So, yep. Let me know if you try it. Put it down in the comments on here. And, um, yeah. If you are new to the YouTube, if the, you're watching this on YouTube, 
please um, like and subscribe me on YouTube. Otherwise, this is for my Craft Corner group. And if you're interested in joining our Craft Corner group, um, please message me. I'll send you a link. Okay? I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.